Sharks are arguably one of Mother Nature's most successful creatures. Since their first appearance in the Silurian waters over 400 million years ago, sharks have survived all mass extinctions, sort of stayed on top of the food chain, and changed very little in their appearance. So what makes this ancient marine predator so successful? The last common ancestor is the most recent individual from which all organisms in a group are directly descendant. The last common ancestor of all vertebrates is likely to have lived during the Middle Cambrian period, about 520 million years ago. This creature, called the Kaya, 4 cm long fish-like creature, is thought to be the ancestor of all vertebrates. The last common ancestor of all jawed creatures likely was the Metaspringina, a jawless fish that lived 514 million years ago. Metaspringina evolved into Arandaspsis during the passing of the Ordovician period. And around 450 million years ago, the last common ancestor between sharks and humans lived. The first emergence of sharks is hard to pinpoint, but sharks have been present since at least the Predali epoch in the late Silurian period, 223 million years ago. This shark, called Elagastolepsis, is the oldest shark species known from fossil. Elagastolepsis survived till the mid-Devonian period, when other more shark-like sharks evolved. Devonian sharks still look nothing like modern shark species though. Instead shark species from the Devonian, like Cladosalacia, look more like fish. These sharks already grew as long as 2 meters. In the Devonian, sharks had not yet reached the top of the food chain. In the Devonian waters, they themselves were prey to monster fish like Hyneria or Dunkleosteus. When the Devonian period faded into the Carboniferous period, fish like Hyneria and Dunkleosteus went extinct. It was then that sharks took over. Shark species like Stethacanthus began to resemble modern day sharks. Stethacanthus survived over 50 million years and was probably one of the first shark species to reach the top of the food chain. And they kept at that top, from the late Carboniferous to the early Triassic. During the Triassic, the environment changed drastically. When the Permian transitioned into the Triassic, a mass extinction unlike any ever seen in Earth's entire history occurred, eliminating over 96% of all species on the planet. Sharks were among the surviving 4%. When the Triassic started, all continents on the planet had come together to form the supercontinent of Pangaea. The rest of the globe was the immense ocean called the Pathalassic, but sharks weren't the only ones to roam this ocean. In the mid-Triassic, the first marine dinosaurs started to appear. Sharks would quickly lose their throne. During the reign of the dinosaurs, the seas did not belong to sharks at all. Some marine dinosaurs are thought to even eat sharks as their primary food source. The most notable shark species during the reign of the dinosaurs were Hybotus and Cratoxyrena. During the Triassic, sharks had the seas still mostly for themselves. During the Jurassic, they lost this throne to species as Lyoplorodon. During the Cretaceous period, Cratoxyrena, which grew up to 5 meters in size, was able to compete with primitive mosasaurs for a while. But 82 million years ago, they went extinct. When the Chicxulub impactor hit 66 million years ago and killed the dinosaurs, sharks once again survived. Scapinorhinus was one of these surviving shark species. Scapinorhinus lived all the way through the Paleogene until the Mid-Neogene 20 million years ago. By the time it went extinct, the infamous Megalodon had appeared. Megalodon could reach a shocking 18 meters in length. Most likely, Megalodon hunted whales for food, presumably mainly orcas. This beast was like the Chuck Norris of sharks and luckily died out during the last ice age. When the ice age passed over, we were left with modern shark species such as the great white goblin and tiger sharks. And that was the history of sharks in short. I hope you enjoyed and see you guys next time.